We've just presented a, a workshop on the new Yukon's SACT nursing competency passport and this is a passport that we're introducing across the, the UK. So the reason we've produced the passport is because there's inconsistency in training and competency assessment of chemotherapy nurses across the UK and what we wanted to do is to provide a passport that includes a theoretical assessment and a practical competency assessment that they can take between jobs so it reduces the need for retraining and reassessment of nurses moving between trusts. So we've just introduced it um, within the last six months so um, what we're doing is running train the trainer events and then we're going to conduct an evaluation so an evaluation through Yukons and also an economic evaluation through um, one of the London universities. It was very positively received, it was very interactive and it's um, an opportunity for people to um, have their questions answered and also to raise some issues with the passport that we can look into with the next version. What's quite interesting is how people will implement it because it requires time for the nurse who's being assessed to fill in the theoretical section and then for someone to mark that and then for the competency assessment to be completed as well, um, the practical competency assessment. So I think that's the biggest issue for people. Um, another issue is how this passport will integrate with the universities because there are SACT or chemotherapy courses being run across the whole of the UK and they have various different workbooks. So we'd like to look nationally at how we can develop our workbook so that it's acceptable and can be used um, between the university and the trust.